a statement. We can tell you that production on the set of that film in Santa Fe has been brought to a standstill as this intensive investigation now gets underway. As you said, two directors were shot. One of them did die. And Alec Baldwin, just a few moments ago, did release a statement on Twitter. We'll show it to you right now. He said this, there are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding the tragic accident that took the life of Halnia Hutchins, a wife, mother, and deeply admired colleague of ours. I'm fully cooperating with the police investigation to address how this tragedy occurred, and I am in touch with her husband, offering my support to him and his family. My heart is broken for her husband, their son, and all who knew and loved Halnia. Now, this happened at approximately 1.50 yesterday local time there in Santa Fe while filming a scene for the movie Rust on Bonanza Creek Ranch in Santa Fe. Investigators do confirm that Baldwin discharged a prop firearm, killing the director of photography. That's 42-year-old Halnia Hutchins. She reportedly lived in Venice Beach with her husband and young son and also wounding the director, 48-year-old Joel Salza. He has a wife and two children. He reportedly was shot in the clavicle and has since been released from the hospital. Now, this is not the first time someone has been killed on the set in a prop gun accident. You may recall back in 1993, actor Brandon Lee, the son of Bruce Lee, was killed while filming the movie The Crow. He was struck by a bullet from a gun that was supposed to have just blanks, but it had a bullet inside the barrel. His family also releasing a statement saying their hearts go out to the victims' families and, quote, no one should ever die while filming a movie. Since then, there have been strict protocols that have been put in place. I did speak with uh, someone who works on movie sets and is one of those uh, what they call armorers. They're the monitors that are in charge of live guns when they're on the set. We, he says we do have to remember that these are actual weapons that are being put on the set, but no live ammo should ever be on the set. So lots of questions about the ammunition that might have been put inside the gun, what was placed inside uh, that that gun, that prop gun, and he says uh, lots of questions should be asked about the armor, the person it's himself or herself that was responsible for the weapons and the safety on the set. He says that a drug and alcohol test should also be conducted. That's the very latest from Hollywood. Bob DiCastro, Tony, we'll send it back to you.